Welcome to Business Unveiled, the podcast designed to help you thrive in the creative community. Here's your host, events and productivity consultant, Angela Profit. Hi, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Business Unveiled, expert tips and secrets from top creative industry professionals, where we take you behind the scenes of our past experiences in the creative industry and share with you what we have learned from them and how they have made us stronger. This podcast will help you grow a productive and profitable business to launch you into success within the creative industry. Today's episode is going to be a little different. It is an extremely, extremely life-altering episode for me because I'm excited to share my new ventures coming up this year with you all first. So first off, I hope that if you are an avid follower, subscriber, listener, supporter, that you notice something different today when you got the podcast. We have a new intro and a new outro and a new podcast name. We wanted to keep unveiled because the podcast is still going to be pulling back the drape and sharing all the juicy details of business as a creative because this shit's hard, y'all. I mean, if every if everyone wanted to do it, they would, and it would be easy, but that's why everybody doesn't do it, because it's not easy. So first, I want to start off by say, saying thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart to all of you, each and every one of you for listening to me over the past several years with Weddings Unveiled, following me, sending your comments, your feedback, and most of all, all the funs, laughs, and cries. I've had so many wonderful people share some really, really amazing stories with me. And finally, after so many people kept saying, Angela, why is your podcast called Weddings Unveiled? Like, yes, I'm in the wedding industry, or yes, I'm a wedding planner, or yes, I'm a designer or floral designer, but your podcast is so much more. It's not just about weddings. It's about business and it helps me in my business and my life and personally, professionally. And so finally, I had to drink my own Kool-Aid, right? And say, listen to your audience. So we have been planning this for a little bit, a little bit behind schedule, but it's all good. Hey, so now we are going to be opening up this podcast to the creative community. So we will still be sharing our behind the scenes stories of weddings and events and conferences that we plan and design and that I speak at and that I'm a part of. And we're going to be having amazing people that will be interviewed by me on this podcast and still providing amazing, amazing value. But I don't want to limit the podcast to just people that are wedding planners, wedding directors, wedding coordinators, wedding designers, um, just it's really anybody in the creative community that that is looking to get you done. And I'm hoping that all the crazy stuff that I share with you all, I know that it helps and I so appreciate your feedback. So if you'd like to be on the podcast as a guest and you have a crazy story to share or you have some value add, reach out to me and let me know because I only know what you guys need help with if you actually freaking tell me. So I'm going to jump over into what I wanted to share with you today. So we are coming up on almost 20 years in business, two decades, which is incredible. I've had wonderful ups, downs, life experiences, and a little secret of mine to let you all know how I get through some of this is I just have to say to myself, like, God, I don't know what you're doing, but this will be a great story <laughs> to share with my audience. And hopefully this will help someone else and this will never happen again. And so lots of opportunities keep coming my way like that. We're always learning and getting better every single day, right? So the first thing that I want to let you guys know is while we will still 
be planning some events and some weddings and designing them and offering full service to a select handful of clients each year, we will be focusing on a new co-working space called Collective 615 with the founder, Kathy Thomas of Kathy Thomas Photography. When she moved to Nashville and was looking for an office, she noticed that Co-working's big. It's a big trend right now, but most co-working spaces are all male-centric. No offense, guys. Love our boys, but hey, we need a space as women to help each other have a sense of community, help one another thrive, bring each other up, and succeed in the entrepreneurship land of being a woman and an entrepreneur and a leader. So, It started off, this venture started off with Kathy reaching out to me and we were just going to grow her speaking business. And then one meeting and one phone call after another, after another turned into, I'm like, why are you not doing this? Like it's a co-working space for women. I mean, why would you not do that? Um, And she's like, because like, it's, it's hard. Like it's a lot of work. And so I'm like, I'll be right there cheering you on. And so it started off with like a little bit of design talk into, oh my gosh, like we need a team. Like you can't just do these big uh, BHAGs, big uh, hairy audacious goal or something like that. Something that I learned in EO. Um, And so we have been on this venture together and Kathy has us live on iPhone Women, which is amazing, an amazing, amazing program. So for the next 30 days, I don't know what day you're listening to this podcast, but specifically April 1st, 2019, for the next 30 days, you can get in at an exclusive rate of for a membership to be a member of Collective 615. Which basically means that if you're a daily grinder, you can come and work anytime we're open and you can host workshops there. You can bring clients in. If you don't feel like getting up, putting your makeup on, fixing your hair, and you need to wear your pajamas in, but you need to be GSD in, hey, it's totally cool. No one's going to judge, okay? So we're going to have coffee and wine and all that fun drink stuff on tap, even though I'm mainly trying to drink water these days. Um, But it's a really amazing opportunity and it has created a new why for my future and so many other lovely ladies that have come forward and said, oh my God, this is amazing. I need community. I need a purpose. I need why. And I need to surround myself with positive, like-minded people that are going to bring me up and not down. Because if you surround yourself with people who are not entrepreneurial, they just don't understand. And you know what? That's okay. Because it's not for everybody. So I would love to invite you to definitely check it out. It is bit.ly slash collective with a capital C, 615. So check out that bit.ly link and you will be routed to the founding member exclusive rates that are going to be happening for the next 30 days. Come sit with us and thrive in your business. The second big project that I want to share with you guys and want to invite you to check out this free app is with a software slash app company. The app is called Vlog Easy, V-L-O-G-E-A-S-Y. This is the app that we have been using for several months, teaching and coaching and consulting other business owners on how to get their message across and how to build an audience. And the best part is how to save a ton of flipping time. A lot of people steer away from video because, well, a couple of reasons. A, they hate being in front of the camera. Let me just give you a little tip. You got to get used to it. If you're the face of your company, the best way the best way, and I can say this because I've done it, I've lived it, it works, is called video. If you need to practice, download a free app called Marco Polo. It's a video texting app so you can get used to seeing yourself and simply video text back and forth with your friends and family. It is the best way to get most comfortable in front of your simple little phone. So that was a small little tangent. 
But with Log Easy, I have been teaching several different types of industries, not just weddings, events, and creatives, but specifically this past month, I have been working with real estate agents on how to do daily vlogs when they are listing a new home, how to talk about it, how to use the jump cut feature, and how to export it, share it, and put it on their social media platforms, as well as how to have a strategy when you get onto the video. Onto video. A lot of people are like, I don't even know what to say. I'm like, listen, there's a formula. Everybody's got to have a story. You got to be able to connect with people. So you always want to say, who are you talking to today? I mean, I have a lot of different audiences. <laughs> and so whenever I begin, for example, I'll say, if you're in the creative industry and you're looking to blah, 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 um, or if you're an entrepreneur or you're a business owner, or are you a brad or are you a couple? So always state who is your your target audience, who's your client that you're talking to, especially if you serve a wide variety of clientele, especially if your target audience is not just like physicians or these are just examples that I'm like pulling out of my butt. But anyway, you start with a story, you give away a nugget. And let me tell you some of the things that I think I'm like, why do people care about that? Or that doesn't matter um, or that's stupid. Let me tell you, like, I don't put that past myself at all anymore because sometimes I'll say things and I'm like, oh, this isn't going to help anyone, but I'm going to say it anyway. And then people come back, they comment, they send me emails, they send me DMs, they send me even videos on uh, trying the apps out, um, which I absolutely love when people do that. Um, or they tag me in social media and it's like, well, hot damn, I did help somebody. So just because you know how to do it or it's something that you do every single day, do not take your knowledge for granted. Trust me. Again, some of the things that we do, I'm, I'm like, why do people care? But it's all about helping others. And the other day I was talking to Daniela who works at this awesome company called Lovingly. And what they do is just incredible. I mean, basically, they send flowers to people, but they have this whole movement of um, making people's day. And I don't know, it's just really cool. But she's like, I heard this this tagline where it's like, you take your mess and you turn it into your message. And I'm like, that's a really good way to say it. Because, you know, a couple of things, being an entrepreneur, life can be messy sometimes. Finances can be messy sometimes. Um, It's just, again, if it were easy, everybody would do it. And so really opening up the door to being vulnerable and being honest and putting it all out there takes a lot of courage. So again, I really recommend you give it a try so you can get your mess out there. (laughs) It sounds like a soap opera anyway. So vlog easy. If you are looking to video, if you're looking to do vlogs, if you're looking to do structured content, which we do both, um, check it out. It's bit.ly. It's bit.ly slash vlog easy. It's all lowercase V-L-O-G-E-A-S-Y. It's a free app right now. Right now, um, the vlog easy logo is on each video that you do which I leave it on there because I want to promote the hell out of, it, out of it because it's completely changed my life and my business and I don't have to sit down on my computer and edit anymore, which is flipping amazing. Um, so give it a try. Let me know what you think. If you run into any roadblocks, it is a little bit newer. And so um, the creator is listening to my feedback and he wants to do this app for the community and for the creator. In fact, we recently did a podcast together. So if you haven't heard it yet, go back a few episodes. His name is Chris Carmichael. Apparently like one of Snapchat, Snapchat's biggest stars, which I've never gotten to Snapchat. So I don't know who the hell he was, but great guy. Love the app. Has changed my life. Check it out. Okay. Third and final thing that we are gearing up for is is the GSD retreat, which will be in Cabo, Mexico, the first week of December. It's always the first week of December every single year. I've been doing it for years and years and years, specifically with my own team, where we un completely unplug. 
meaning like nothing. We tell people like we're going to be out of the office, like we're off the grid where we work on the business not in the business. And we create a content calendar and goals for the next year. Now, next year being 2020, and also me being in business almost 20 years, it's a really big flipping year. And so last year, we took a handful of business owners with us and I taught them the same content strategy that we use how to develop the message based off psychology, how to get started, how to use Google Docs, how to be paperless. So it was all about how to wash, rinse, repeat your content. So what that means is, for example, when I did videos, I would take the audio, make it a podcast. We would give this audio to the book editor. We would make a book. And then that goes to the blog editor. It could go on the blog. And then it goes to our social media strategist. And then it could go on social media. So basically, you can say your message one time. And it can go in five or six different places or even more. I was listening to a video from Gary V today that one of my coaching clients, Annette, sent me, which it's funny because I'd already seen it. It was a keynote in London that he did talking all about video and where to put your content. And if you aren't putting your content in written form, meaning like blog, text, video, or podcast, and you're not putting it out in 10 different places, you might as well be irrelevant on this earth in business which I think is a little harsh, but he's got a point and I totally agree. And so what he was saying is, you know, meaning like put it out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, YouTube, Vimeo, a podcast, written form, blog, your website. I think that's like 10, maybe a few more. But if you think about it, it's really not that hard, but it can be overwhelming. And so as long as you have a strategy and you map it out and then you actually execute the shit, it's really not that hard. It is. It can be a full-time job, like growing your brand, trust me. And without the clients and without the people, listen, you got no brand, okay? <laughs> so for the first about 10 years of my business, I was just saying like, yes, 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 yes to everything. And I'm thankful now that I've had coaches and I've had mentors and I've been to so many conferences that I've attended, invested in, and then as well that I've gotten to speak at where I learn all these things. And so without investing in yourself, how the hell are you going to grow, right? So consider it. Consider coming to Cabo this year. We're actually releasing it now so that you have time to plan for it financially, family-wise. I'm usually, I put it out there, I think like two months last year. And, you know, we filled the spots because there's only so many rooms in this big ass house that we rent. And my team this year, they're like, and you got to give people time to like save money and it's always on my calendar the first the first December of every year. That's the week of my birthday too. So that's how we started that. And then I really am, um, I'm really happy like when I'm helping other people and then when I'm actually planning for myself and for my team because it's something that I never really used to do. I never really focused on it. And so you want to do what makes you happiest, right? Like the week of your birthday. <laughs> I mean, I love my family and my dogs and all that too, but I do love the beach. I'm a water girl. So check it out, bit.ly slash GSD retreat. And GSD and the R in retreat are capitalized. So I hope that you will consider joining us in Cabo this year to elevate your business and GSDs get shit done. If you found this podcast helpful, please share it with your friends. And I'm so very grateful if you leave a review. Be sure you are a subscriber so you never, ever miss the juicy details of Business Unveiled. Also, be sure that you are part of my email list. And if you're not... Sign up today at AngelaProfit.com, where I share valuable resources and exclusive products with only my subscribers.
Now, before I go, I want to ask you, if you have a story or a product to share with the creative industry, please let me know. To be considered as a guest on Business Unveiled, visit AngelaProfit.com and submit a podcast guest form. Until next time, remember to stay productive and profitable. You've been listening to Business Unveiled with Angela Profit. Join us next time as we share our experiences to help you be more productive and profitable in your creative business. For more great resources, visit AngelaProfit.com.